Naruto. I want to help you fight, yo. All right. With Octopop's help, I could tip the balance in my favor. In that case, I'll... Using Octopop's help is a good idea, but I want to do this on my own. Sorry, Octopops, but let me take care of this on my own. Down the path of training, you dare to walk alone, but the extent of your power is still unknown. Okay, no doubt you can work it out, so I'll just let it stand. I'll give you advice instead of a hand. Yeah! Yeah! Thanks a lot! No problemo, sympathizing with your gutsy attitude. I sure am a nice dude. Good luck. Let the battle begin! Listen, what you need to do is not
again. No. What? You stay here. Don't go anywhere. Naruto. Uh, huh? Where'd you come from? And how come you know my name? Uh, of course. Well then, why don't you guess who I am, Naruto? <laughs> Don't tell me. You got it? You! You're the Ninetales' true form! <laughs> That's a scary laugh! Trying to trick me by taking that form? You're wrong, you know! Ow! Uh. 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 Oops, sorry about that. Sheesh! That hurt, you know... You know... I was born impatient. I talk so fast that sometimes weird things come out of my mouth, you know? I've been trying to stop, but when I get excited, I just say whatever I'm thinking. I hope you came out okay, without any weird verbal quirks like me. Then... Minato didn't say anything to you? <laughs> Shame on him. That's right. I am your... <laughs> I've... wanted to meet you for so long, you know? <gasps> you know, huh? You really are my child. like this, with your abominable chakra. Kushina! Mom? Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. Naruto, have you met your father, Minato? Dad? Dad once appeared and stopped the Ninetales during one of his rampages. I was really surprised when I saw him, too. Hmm. Speaking of which, why did you... Minato included my chakra in the ceiling jutsu, so I'd appear when you tried to control the Ninetales. So that I could lend you a hand. Right. What is it? Is there something on my face? No, no, it's just... I... I was...
was thinking about how lucky I am to have such a beautiful mom. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. You have your father's hair, but I'm sorry you got stuck with my face, Naruto. Why? I got my good looks from you, right? I even wish I'd gotten your straight red hair. It's totally awesome! <laughs> that makes you the second man who has complimented my red hair. Yeah? So who's the first? Who do you think? Your father, of course. Oh, right! What is it? Hey, hey, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. How did you and Dad fall in love? It's a bit embarrassing, you know? Hey, you said you know! You're getting excited again! You say I'm getting flustered, not excited, you know? You said it again! <laughs> <sighs> when we first met, your father Minato and I were both still little kids. I had just moved from another village and entered the academy as a new transfer student. At the time, I was placed in the same class as Minato. My first impression of him was that he seemed rather... girly and undependable. He said he wanted to become a Hokage, respected by everyone in the village, but it just sounded like a joke to me. What? But Dad seemed so powerful! I know, but I was still young and didn't know anything back then, so I looked down on Minato. Until a certain incident happened. An incident? I used to really hate my red hair. But after that incident, I started to like it. What happened? I have a slightly special chakra, and I was kidnapped by the Hidden Cloud Village because of it. You were kidnapped? They suddenly captured me and took me away to the Hidden Cloud Village, and I wasn't able to put up much of a fight. But I knew I had to do something in order to leave behind a trail while I was being led away. I snipped off and dropped strands of my hair, carefully, so the enemy wouldn't notice. The Hidden Leaf Village immediately put together search parties, but they had a hard time finding me. We were almost to the border, and I thought that I was done for. But then... Was that when... Yep. Minato was the one who rushed to my side and rescued me. He was the only one to notice the strands of my red hair. He told me it was because my hair is so pretty. That day, I knew Minato really would be a great ninja. I realized he could make all my dreams come true, and that he could change me. The red hair that I had always hated had brought me the man of my dreams. My hair became my red thread of destiny. After that, I grew to like my hair, and more importantly, fell in love with Minato. There are certain words I only bestow on the men who compliment my hair. Will you accept them? Huh? Naruto, I love you. I love you. Wow. I feel so calm. And... So happy! What? I'm overflowing!
flowing with power. Now's my chance. I'm ready. I'm gonna win this battle. Let the battle begin. Stay calm. If you carefully watch his movements, you'll spot an opening. Weaker, haven't you, Nine Tails? Oh, my God. 
Naruto, you dare! You have infuriated me! Naruto! You still have this much power? Wow, you really are amazing. But, sorry. I won't do wrong by you. So just hang in there for a little while. You did it, Naruto. Yeah. Hm? Mom, what are you? Now, I can finally join Minato. <sighs> but before I go, there are some things I need to tell you. Huh? <laughs> About the incident that happened 16 years ago when you were born. I'm going to tell you the truth about that day. The day the Nine Tails attacked? Starting with the fact that the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails before you was me. You. Mom? You were. the Nine Tails Jinchuriki? Yes. I was brought to the leaf from the now vanished hidden Eddy village to become the Nine Tails vessel. The Nine Tails. Whoa, hold on a minute. They brought you here from another village? And what do you mean by vessel? The clan folk of my village excelled at sealing jutsu and had a very close relationship with the hidden leaf. I had a particularly powerful chakra, strong even for one from my village, enough to suppress the Nine Tails. So that's why you were chosen to be the Nine Tails vessel? Yes. 
What? What was wrong with them? They weren't even treating you like a person! I was brought to the Hidden Leaf Village without being told the truth. So I was shocked as well when I found out. The burden of being a Jinchuriki. The loneliness. I nearly collapsed under all the expectations. But during that difficult time, the Jinchuriki before me, Lady Mito Uzumaki, told me... ...that I may have come here to be a vessel like her. But the key was to fill ourselves with love first. Then, even if we had to live as the Ninetales Jinchuriki, we could still be happy. So, Mom, you were a Jinchuriki, but you were happy? Yep. <laughs> oh, Naruto. There's no need for you to cry. Wait. What is it? Dad said that when the Ninetales attacked the Hidden Leaf Village, it was because of that masked Akatsuki guy. So how come you didn't have the Ninetales, Mom? Your father left a few things out, I guess. Oh, that's right. Minato didn't have that much time with you. It's true that when the Ninetales attacked the village 16 years ago, a masked man was behind it. But up until right before that, the Nine Tails was sealed inside me. So what happened? That masked man... I don't know how, but... He knew. Knew what? The one time a Jinchuriki's seal weakens, he exploited that weakness and stole the Nine Tails from me. The one time the seal weakens? When's that? Childbirth. During the nine months or so between when a female Jinchuriki gets pregnant and gives birth, the energy that is normally used for the seal is diverted to the growing baby, and the tailed beast seal tends to weaken proportionally. It was October 10th, 16 years ago. By order of the third Hokage, I was to give birth inside a barrier at a distance from the village. This measure was taken in case the seal came undone when I gave birth, and the Nine Tails got out. Minato was going to be there for the birth, and the preparations were progressing smoothly. Everything related to the birth, though, was top secret. In that case, I'll go on ahead. You'll be okay, right? If the contractions start, get someone nearby to help, okay? I'll rush back to help out, too, as soon as I can. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Ninja will meet you at the Hidden Leaf Gate, so be sure to have them accompany you, understand? And... Minato, you're treating me like a child. No, that's not how I meant it. It's just... That overprotective habit of yours is never gonna change, is it? Don't worry, I'm okay. So go on ahead and get everything set up already. Kushina. Listen, we're about to be parents. If we freak out about everything, Naruto will just laugh at us. Yeah, I guess so. We can't look weak in front of Naruto. Exactly. Okay, fine. I'm going on ahead then. I'll see you later, inside the barrier. Good grief. Well, I can kind of understand panicking a bit in this kind of situation. But... In just a little while, we'll be able to meet you.
Kushina? Oh, are you the one who was sent to meet me? Yes. Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. Alright then. We're ready as well. Let's go. So the time has finally come. <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous. And so I headed off toward the barrier. Minato and some other medical men to join me inside the barrier, and then I went into labor. To be honest, I was a bit anxious since it was my first time, and I was worried about the seal, too. But Minato was there by my side through the whole thing. He helped me feel like everything was going to be okay. Dad. And then things got... Uh, pretty rough. You being a guy and all, I don't think you'd be able to understand. <laughs> I guess it was tough, even for you, Mom. You better believe it. I was going through childbirth, after all. It hurt like crazy. It took forever for you to come out, and the Ninetales went berserk. But, little by little, I was filled with happiness that I was having a baby. And then, with a strong little cry, you were born. <laughs> I'm a father now! So, we finally meet. All right, I know it's rough having just given birth, but we need to completely suppress the Nine Tails again. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth Hokage Minato, step away from the Jinchuriki, or else this child will die after its first minute. H who are you? Kushina! The Ninetale Seal! Hurry up and move away from the Jinchuriki. Don't you care what happens to your little brat? Wait! Stay calm! Speak for yourself. I am supremely calm. Naruto! Impressive. However... Paper bombs! Minato! Naruto! <laughs> Naruto's not hurt. He forced me to use the flying rising jutsu. His target was Kushina, so he separated us. Gotta hurry. Do you want? I'm going to extract the nine tails from you and crush the leaf. What? <laughs> the nine tails seal has weakened due to childbirth, and that troublesome Minato is now far away. There's no one around to save you. <laughs> Do you know how long I have waited for this? <laughs> Nine tails. 
Jesus. Now to take care of the leaf. Wait. My, my, my. You Uzumaki clan are just amazing. You don't die right away when the tailed beast is extracted. You were his Jinjuriki. I'll let you die by his hand. Flash for nothing, but you're too late. Naruto. Naruto. Is Naruto all right? Yeah, he's fine. He's in a safe place right now. Thank goodness. Minato, you've got to stop that man and the Nine Tails. They're planning. To hit the hidden leaf village. He flew away again. Oh well. <sighs> Why? Shh, just be with Naruto. Thank you. Good luck. I'll be right back. Did you notice me? Look at you, Minato. You've already lost your head over this baby. No, I just thought Naruto would like it, you know? I can't believe you bought that when he hasn't even been born yet. You're really being hasty, you know. Naruto? Your mom's saying this, but you'll really like it, right? Enough. Uh, did you... Yep, he moved. <laughs> See, I told you he'd like it. Come on, it was just a coincidence. I don't care what the reason was, as long as Naruto's happy. Minato, what are you going on about? You and I are going to have lots of fun after you're born, okay, Naruto? <laughs> That's right. After you're born, we'll always be together. It was on the 
that shelf over there. Minato, where are you? Watch out! Look, your father bought this for you. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. I'm gonna be a dad soon. So, which one of us do you think he'll take after more? Doesn't matter. He's our son. Naruto, I can't wait to meet you. Yeah, I hope we can see each other soon, Naruto. I know. Um, sorry. Minato, you teleported the Nine Tails with you? Somehow I managed to get this far. But I don't have much chakra left.
I can still do it. Tails with me to my death. So that the interval until he emerges again is delayed. It's all I can manage right now with my remaining chakra to help you two. Thank you for everything. Up till now. <clears throat> Kushina, you are the one who made me the fourth Hokage, who made me a man. And made me this child's father. And yet I'm useless. <sighs> So sad. I, I'm happy. I'm loved by you. Plus, today is the child's birthday. So, most of all, if I were to imagine me alive and our future together as a family of three, then I can't see us being anything. But happy. But if I were allowed just one regret, I wish I could have seen Naruto grow up. Kushina, there's no need for you to die to kill the Nine Tails. Preserve what little of your chakra remains for your reunion with Naruto. Huh? I'm going to seal the rest of your chakra inside Naruto. It'll be part of an eight-sign sealing. And then I'll take the Nine Tails with me. With the sealing jutsu that I can do, not being a Jin Churiki. Reaper Death Seal. But that jutsu results in the caster's death. One more thing. I'm only going to seal away half of the Nine Tails. Partly because it's physically impossible to seal away so much power, but also because it's not strategically wise. If the Nine Tails is lost along with you, there will be no Jin Shuriki until he re-emerges, upsetting the balance. With the Reaper Death Seal, we can at least seal away half of the Nine Tails forever. And the other half. World upheaval and calamities. So the savior that will emerge then is the child of prophecy? And you think that child is me? to seal inside Naruto using the eight sign sealing. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. But remember what Master Jiraiya said about world upheaval and the calamities that will accompany that. There are two things that I've become convinced of today. That masked man who attacked you. He will bring catastrophe to this world. This child will stop him. He will open up the future as a Jinchuriki. I don't know how, but I'm sure of it. But, Minato! Let's 
believe in him. After all, he is our son. It's because he's our son that I don't want him to bear such a heavy burden. And why the Reaper Death Seal? I want you to stay with Naruto and watch over his development. Why? Why does Naruto have to be sacrificed for the tail beast balance? For the country? For the village? And why do you have to sacrifice yourself for my sake? Forsake one's country and one's village is the same as forsaking one's child. You, whose birth nation is no more, know that all too well. How harsh life is for those without a land to call home. Besides which, our family, our ninja. Finally. Even if I were to live, I'd lose out to you. <gasps> Even though you won't have much time with him, there are things only you can tell Naruto. Things that I can't. That is a mother's role. So, I'm not doing this just for you. I'm doing it for Naruto. I will die for my son. It is my duty as his father. He's going numb. I can't believe how heavy his chakra is. Ceiling to seal the rest of Nine Tails inside Naruto. A ritual altar. He's planning to seal me up again. 